Hello everybody, welcome to CrossFit Rebel Stoke. I'm um, just going to take you through some options for kettlebell swing because a lot of people don't have kettlebells at home or even dumbbells but you can use everyday objects like a backpack with something heavy in it or um, a gas canister. Now make sure that you've got the, uh, the, uh, uh, the cap turned on properly that it isn't going to start spewing gas but okay. otherwise it's a great, um, great tool. So just grab and hold of the handle, both hands, and then the same thing applies. We're gonna drive our hips back, very much thinking about that deadlift back. So if I've picked it up off the ground, I'm in my deadlift position, standing tall, and now I'm going to just drive back and forward, start getting it swinging through. Remember, I'm trying to get my forearms touching my inner thigh, and then as I'm driving up to this position, I'm just going up to squeeze my glutes here and back down. I'm not overextending back and just want to get to a point where I'm standing in my normal standing tall position. And then when I'm putting it back down, same thing, deadlift it back down. Now, if you don't have a gas canister, you don't have a barbecue, something like that, then what you can do is grab hold of a log or something heavy, and then we're going to place it in to a rough old top, and then place that in to your bag. So it's going to rip the head out of the inside of your bag. Now again, make sure that your bag is strong enough, but most rucksacks will do, then the same thing. So again, I'm going to deadlift this up, and then I'm going to drive my hips back, through and through. So we're going for the Russian swing today, because when you don't have an object that you can control quite as well, or grab as much of your handles on it, then this is a better option than going above your head. And then when we're finished, deadlift back down, is that